Welcome to this short video with tips on how to assemble your lifetime shed. These aren't the full instructions, but useful tips to construct your shed. Remember to assemble on a level surface like a cement patio. First, we're laying the floor assembly. The floor folds down to puzzle piece together. Lift the floor panels and slide the door hinge bushings up through the holes. This will be the front of the shed. Next, we assemble the trusses. To assemble, use the provided screws and cap nuts to attach the truss pieces together. Don't tighten down the connections yet. Leave them loose until you lift the truss in place. Slide the quarter inch threaded rod through and secure it top and bottom with a quarter inch cap nut. Be sure not to over tighten the cap nuts or the threads will be exposed. And you don't want that. Now set the trusses aside. Now start putting up the wall panels, starting with the corner. The wall panels will snap into place with the wood block directly underneath. Do only one tab at a time. Align it carefully, then push down until you hear a popping sound. The window wall panel can go on any side you want. When you're done with each panel, fasten it with the provided screws. Have someone put some opposing pressure on the opposite side of the wall while you're putting in the screws. Next, attach a support channel into the groove on each side of the shed. Next, we're going to build the doors. Set the left shed door with the front side down. Slide a door hinge tube through the hole in the door and then position the deadbolt latches before sliding on the door in channel. This will take a little force to slide it on. The deadbolt latches go on the top and bottom. The door end channel should fit onto the door with the flat side up facing the deadbolt latches. The right door is different. On the right door, the flattest edge of the door end channel is going to face the outside of the door. The rear gable is next. It goes together laying the edge of one side over the other and connecting with provided screws. Lay the assembly flat on the ground over the vent screen and louvered vents. To prevent the screen material from getting twisted up, punch a hole in it at each screw boss. On the entry header bar, the indented rectangular hole lies towards the right side and faces down. The flat screw holes should face away from the entry gable. Now onto the skylight. Remove the protective film from each side. To put together the skylight assembly, overlap the provided butyl tape at the ends and cover all the holes. Punch out an alignment hole through the tape. The bolts fit into the square holes in the skylight. Secure each one with a washer and cap nut.
To attach the doors, use a cotter pin through each door hinge bushing slot. Just insert and bend back with pliers. Each hole in the front gable slides down over the door hinge tubes, then the entire assembly is secured with screws. To assemble the roof, place the tops of the wall panels into slots in the roof panels. The edge of the roof panels fit down inside the truss channel. Make sure the top of the walls are fitted snugly into the roof panels before you tighten the screws. The holes in the roof support are left over from manufacturing, so don't worry about using them for anything. Now you are ready to tighten down the trusses. First make sure they're all squared off. Install the roof caps from back to front, attaching them to the entry gable, side panels, and each other. Place the roof cap so the edge overlaps the previous roof cap. Your torque setting on your drill should be set very, very low, or you run the risk of stripping out the holes. To place the small skylights, fold them in the middle and insert through the gap between roof caps. Hold onto the tabs with one hand and hand tighten screws to connect. The windows have plastic protective film on both sides. The window is inserted with the bent edge at the top and pointing away from the wall. You'll attach a window latch above each corner of the window with two screws. Make sure the window latches slide freely. A screw goes into the hole at the bottom. To begin the door handle installation, sort out all the washers and bolts before each step. It'll save you time during assembly. To attach the right door handle, three washers and three pan head screws are used. On the left door, slide the strike plate on. You may need to nudge the door in channel to make the holes line up with the gap in the door. With the door handles in place, the shed is now complete. 